Hi guys, on our way to site, um, Project MB. I'm going to meet the builder um, just for a catch up and see where we're at. It's nice and sunny right now. Look at that glow. Ooh. Anyway, um, should be there within the next few minutes. Um, see you soon. Bye. Where you see the um, builder removing um, water plasterboard is um, because that area has become very damp and as a result um, that makes the structure very weak and um, therefore needs to be replaced. Okay, now what will happen is um, that niche hole is going to be on the side there. So you now have the ability to obviously there's a plank in. So you can be on the side there, create a hole to put the shower gel, right? Yeah, but I'm thinking, um, <laughs> because you have this anyway, so you have this is covered. Hi, so here we have the um, empty shell of the bathroom, which is quite small as you can see. However, we are going to work our magic as we do. Um, so what's going to happen is, so basically initially before, this area had the shower, we had the loo here, and then you had the sink on this side. However, what we've proposed just to, um, to maximize the space, and to um, also provide better flow in terms of movement and space for the client. Um, we proposed um, essentially to have the shower go along here. So it will be a walk-in shower. And then obviously you'd have the screen just to separate the area. Um, we'd have, we will have a, like, a beautiful feature wall which will be on this side, on this wall here. Um, going across, you'd have, um, so you'd have a little niche area um toilet comes out here and then you have the um you'd have the basin unit on this side here it's quite a petite one but we'll make it nice and functional for the client um what you find is what we had to do is in order to um further maximize the space is that i don't know if you can see but essentially here this used to be the stud wall so the the wall of the actual bathroom is to stop here but what we've done is um we've extended it a little bit by 30 centimeters so as you can see it stops right here um and then the gap between here as you can see here this um piece here and there essentially will conceal the pipe work um which will obviously run through um to accommodate the, the shower the water the waste etc um this has also allowed us a little bit of extra more space for the client here in the bathroom. Um, as you can see, it, will, it, it, it was very much still, it still very much is a tight space. However, um, with the extra 30 centimeters, it does definitely help a little. Every little helps it when you're designing. Um, but yeah, just can't wait to show you what we'll get up to. What you'll find is that this room this bathroom doesn't have any like um, window for ventilation essentially so what will happen is that we will have the um, extractor fan hidden either on that wall or on the ceiling due to obviously because it doesn't have any natural light emitting into the room um, due to the lack of um, the window we will have um, the door here will have um, a glass panel inside of it um, which will allow natural lighting that comes from this side into the bathroom here we've got a quick sneak peek of the beautiful herringbone flooring isn't this just gorgeous thanks so much for watching i hope this little sneak peek gave you an idea as to what we get up to on site of course stay tuned for more updates on this project see you soon bye